What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today's video is going to be another Slipknot Mask unboxing. But before we get into that, I did want to ask you guys today's question. And today's question is a simple matter of opinion, one or the other, I want to know which you like better. Corey Taylor's Ghost Glow or Corey Taylor's Dummy? So let me know down in the comments below which one you like more, the Ghost Glow or the Dummy. And feel free to tell me why. Personally, my answer has to be the dummy. I've never been partial to the Ghost Glow. It's it's really derpy looking to me. Stuff I don't really know what they were going for there. It's just kind of messy and derpy. Derpy is definitely the word that comes to mind when I think about the Ghost Glow. I know that the dummy is also pretty stupid, but something about it, especially my first time seeing it in the Wait and Bleed video, was just unreal. I've come to discover that I'm more of a nothing beats the original type guy. Me and my friends were talking about this a few weeks ago. And that type of philosophy can be applied to pretty much anything. Obviously, if you look at movies and their sequels, they all seem to get shittier. The same thing goes with music. Obviously Slipknot and Ghost started off way cooler than they ended up. And hell, even motorcycles. Look at a Grom compared to a Z125 or even a new gen Grom. The original Groms are just way cooler. So I'm all for the dummy. I understand that it rotted and he had to replace it, but I'm definitely an OG guy. And I just think the dummy's cooler, so the dummy wins for me. But let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are and let's get on with this unboxing. So I've actually been waiting for this mask for quite a while, but between the wait time and then the customs hold time, it took a little while longer to get here than I expected, but it's finally here. This is from Tito. A lot of guys in the Slipknot community probably know who that is, and this is a Ghost Glow. So it's fully converted by Tito. It's also his recast. He did the dreads, he did the paintwork, he did the stitching. From start to finish, this is totally his creation. So let's take a look at it here. A for effort on the uh, packaging there. Alright, so there it is. That is a recast. So this is not an original Ghost Glow. This is actually made out of latex, whereas the original Ghost Glows are vinyl. But yeah, super stoked with it. Looks good. There's a lot of detail in the stitching here, which you guys will see in just a second. The cuts look great. The dreads. His dreads are untouchable. You won't find someone that makes better dreads in the Slipknot community. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff this, maybe throw it on, give you guys some nice close-ups of the mask, show it off a little bit better. And that will be that. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and we will see you later.